someone on Twitter has claimed that they do my thumbnails. It's all a lie. I have so many things I want to discuss. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea, and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. It's a little uh, different video than I usually do, but I feel like you all would want to know this information just like me because there is so much bad going on. <laughs> and I will get into each topic that I have found and that's happened to me. So the first topic obviously is someone messaged me on Twitter and my husband handles my Twitter account and I always have it listed down below and someone reached out asking if this foreign expert did my thumbnails. I just realized some of you may not know what a thumbnail is. That is the thing on my channel that you first see with my picture and whether it's a Dooney logo or a splashy background uh, unboxing Dooney and Burke or that is a thumbnail. So I wanted to explain that to people that don't content create that doesn't know what a thumbnail is. That's what it is. And my husband responded, no, I'm the one that does her thumbnails. Someone is trying to steal my husband's work for their own. So that is the first thing that I'm very irate about. <laughs> I get a lot of emails as a YouTuber uh, about these so-called experts, SEO experts. They're wanting me to spend my money for them to edit, for them to do my thumbnail, that I'm doing wrong, all these things that I'm doing wrong. And yet one of them has now claimed my husband's work, the thumbnail work, for his own. And that makes me very angry. <laughs> and that's just one example of some of the things that's been going on lately. And I would love to hear from anyone out there that has similar situations to these to let me know down below. But in my future description box down below, I will be putting who edits the video, who does the thumbnails, what program I use, everything will be down in the description box so this does not hopefully happen again. So that's my first gripe as to some things that have been going on. The second thing is I've been getting emails from Gmail accounts. So when you get emails that say respond urgent pay $500 or I'm going to release photos or videos of you and they want money with a QR code and everything and they're threatening emails. I've gotten two now and they're always from Gmail accounts. They're not a company that from, they're not .gov, they're not .edu, they're not .coms. These are individuals scamming people out of money saying that they're going to release things that they don't have. I block them, and you should too. It, check their email account, block it. It's not real. There are so many scam emails. I get email after email of scams all the time, or you need to do this quick, or you're going to be showing the world this. You know, that this is fake. Delete the emails, block the emails. <laughs> I have no videos out that are scandalous. I have no photos in the cloud or otherwise that can be used against me. And I'm a Gen Xer. I have come from the generation of no technology to where we are now. And I have seen things explode and technology explode. And we've, as my generation, we've had to learn as we go how to do certain things and how to adapt to new technology. And this right here is a PSA. Please do not send anyone money. Do not respond to the emails. 
delete block period I have to tell my own parents this and I want you all to be careful I don't want you to be scammed so that is my second example of threatening emails that I have been getting this next thing is new uh, I just watched a video and I will put it down below of a bad content creator that she was sent a fake coach tabby she was sent a fake coach denim tabby right here and just from the video her showing the fake bag you can tell you can tell a difference in all the things she's pointing out and this bag was sent from Dillard's well not mine this is real and her fake one actually came from Dillard's so someone returned a fake bag Dillard's accepted it and resold it <laughs> Yeah, didn't know that was happening, but it is. So another thing, beware. Because <laughs> now you can't even get, be sure to get real bags. This is another story I just came across on a Facebook group. Someone went to Coach Outlet. I don't know the location. And they were looking at reserve bags. And I think she was returning a bag. I'm not sure what bag. And she noticed on their floor their sales floor the heart bag and she I don't know if she compared it to her own heart bag but there's a picture and if I find it I'll put it here someone returned a fake coach heart quilted puffy bag to a coach outlet and they're reselling it and she tried to tell the sales associate that this is fake and they were not hearing it so <laughs> Be sure to know what you're looking for. If something doesn't feel right, if something doesn't add up with what you've seen on my videos or other YouTubers out there's videos, you need to look at all the details because the fakes are rampant and they're now getting into our stores, which is scary. So I have a video on this. I show up close details. I'll link it down below just in case I don't have the heart bag but uh, yeah that this is the world we're living in you have to be careful don't the next thing I just saw on Instagram and I will put the handle of the Instagrammer down below but she posts pictures of her bag like we all do and charms and just different things like that and she in which I'm not sure where Shein is based, but we can all assume and guess because it's so cheap. It's true. Uh, they stole her photos from her Instagram with her charm, or one, one bag with two different uh, charms on their website, stole it that was hers. And so she put out a post, everyone report this bag on Shein. And so everybody reported it, it got taken down. So the thing is, the world with technology has major benefits because YouTube is awesome. It also has major cons like liars and thieves and scammers. We've all probably dealt with some of this in some way. And I'm just pointing out a few of the things that I've come across lately. I wonder if you have gotten these scam artists out there that are saying they did your work or they just used your stock photo let me know down below if this is happening in your email in your social media i would like to hear what's happened to you guys yeah. my husband does my thumbnails i of course create the videos i'm the one that edits my videos i don't pay anyone anything to do my videos I'm not a big channel and even if I was a big channel I enjoy editing I enjoy creating and my husband he's really good at Photoshop so he enjoys doing my thumbnails so don't be scammed and don't trust everything you read or see on the internet because there is a lot of lies rolling around out there and I just want you all to be careful because you are my friends and I don't want any scammers on here and it I will always tell you 
if my bag is authentic or if it's not. Like 99% of my bags are real bags. I don't typically buy fake unless I'm trying it. And if it's a more expensive bag, I, I have done that. But I will do dupes and inspired bags, but I will not, unless I tell you, I will not tell you it's real if it's not real. <laughs> so I just want to clear the air, get this off my chest. This is kind of a different video, I understand that, but these are real topics and real things that have happened to me and I am 95% sure that you all have had scam phone calls, scam emails, you know, even if you're not on YouTube creating your own videos, we all have come across this. So yeah, I will tell you to follow me on Instagram. Um, you know, I put my email down below in the description box of all my videos that it's always there, but that's not for scam artists. That's not for people telling, threatening me to send them money. It's for sponsorships. It's for collaborations with my fellow YouTubers. It's for a vlog sale, or if you want one of my purses, you can email me. The, the email that I put down there is for business inquiries. I will always probably get other people trying to sell me on that my, my title's wrong, my SEO is wrong, my thumbnail's wrong. I don't let that stuff bother me, I just delete it. <laughs> That's all I do, I delete it. Like, nah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm not perfect and I try to improve on my videos and my quality. I hope to have come a long, longer ways than the beginning of three years ago when I started and I've learned a ton. So do yourself a favor and research. Don't fall into these traps of emails and scams and be careful now on the coach outlet and all the stores, Bloomingdale's, who knows? They may be accepting fake bags and we had no idea that this was happening and it's scary. So uh, if you like this video, <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to like a video like this, but it's the truth and it's me and I wanted to share. So give me a thumbs up, even though it's a terrible, <laughs> it's a terrible bad new news video. It's the truth. And I want you all, my friends to know the truth. And so anyway, subscribe to my channel. It's usually about handbags, like I talked about. And most of my content is handbags, maybe some vlogs, lifestyle thrown in. Hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. And I really do appreciate all my subscribers that new and old, no, not old ladies. <laughs> I appreciate all my OG subscribers and all the new ones that have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just wanted to share my thoughts and put this little PSA out there in case you have had this happen to you. Just be careful, that's all I can say. And if you ever want advice from me, if you think something looks shady, you know, you can email me and ask me and I'll ask my husband and we can do our research together. <laughs> but I just want everyone to be careful. It's uh getting a little scammy out out in the out in the world lately. So, be careful. And I appreciate you all and thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon with the handbag video. <laughs> Bye.